taxes and stuff like no, that. No, insurance, 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 insurance is, is on us. But like, you, you already covered, like everything is covered. But it's just like uh, like the benefits and stuff like that. Like your, uh, you know. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another Lockout Men podcast for you. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, and in today's episode, it's a MTC 2.0 episode. Yes, sir, it is. Make the call 2.0. This is the episode where I take the time and take the suggestions from you guys to make the calls to the companies that you're interested in. So if you're interested in any calls that you want me to make, make sure you get them in in the comments below. Uh, Make sure you get it in the community because I post in the community all the time. In order to find out who's going to be called next, you got to you got to make the suggestion while you at it if you like content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell and that all button for more when you know when the mtc series will post if you like to hook a brother up with some coffee because it takes time and a lot of work to get this stuff together for you guys you know what i'm saying so hook me up with some coffee the coffee app is in the description below and the cash app is in the description below. Dollar sign, lockout men. You know what I'm saying? Hook a brother up if you if you like content like this. And if this works for you or if you want to, you know, find out about the company that you might be interested in going to. If you want to know more, I mean, if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And if you want have any questions for me to ask, Leave that in the comments below. Well, all right. So in today's episode of MTC, let's see something. Yeah, there you go. Y'all like that background? (laughs) I like that background right there. So in today's episode of MTC, we're going to be looking at Great Lakes Transportation and uh, Logistics. So let's, uh, let's bring it up on the bit board. There we go. There we go. Great Lakes Transportation and Logistics Company. They are located in Romulus. Uh, I tried calling the first time and I really couldn't get through. And I thought that it was it, it was uh, it, the company was out of business or it was no way that I could get any you know information. Unfortunately, their website really don't tell much. They got. You know, they got uh, they got postings of being one of the elite carrier for 2018. And then there's some pictures of their trucks right there. They got a they got a couple of testimonials. Uh, You can write a review and read more. Uh, This this is some of their pictures, some of their pictures. And down at the bottom, that's it. Their business open 24 hours a day because they're a trucking company. They're located in Romulus, uh, uh, Michigan, Michigan. Did I say Minnesota? My fault. If I said Minnesota, I meant Michigan. Um, and their phone number is 734-929-8918. So, Again, as far as their website goes, there there wasn't nothing too much on the website to go on. But, of course, I did make the call and I did get a little bit of information. So before we jump into that call, check it out. They've been in existence for four years. Uh, they're a family-owned company. Uh, the guy that I talked to, his brother is a dispatcher. So they've been in the trucking game for a good while that he said, but he's been running, they've been running their business for four years. Um, they, they'll start you at 40 to 50 cent a mile, uh, depending on your, of course, depending on your experience. And they're also a 1099 company. All right. So that means you have to take care of your own taxes, but as far as benefits and stuff like that, 
The company will take care of that for you, but you got to take care of your own, uh, your own taxes and stuff like that. Now, I did ask him uh, because it kind of threw me for a loop. I'm like, is that a 1099 uh, company driver or 1099 uh, lease driver? And no, it's 1099 company driver. So with 1099 and you got to, you know, you got to uh, work on your taxes and everything, just make sure that you take out for the taxes, okay? Not all that money is yours. Uncle Sam needs his first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So definitely, uh, definitely take out the money when you do uh, 1099 companies. All right, with that said, uh, without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the call. Hello? Recruiting? Hey, how's it going? Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. All right, all right. Well, my name's uh, Sean. I'm a five-year uh, truck driver, and I was just calling to see what, uh, what's the name of the company? Great Lakes Logistics? Correct. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just calling to see what you guys have to, you know, have to offer for, you know, for me. Where you Where you from? I see you called from uh, Cleveland area. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm from uh, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. All right. Um. Uh. What do you What are you looking to drive over the road or? Well, that's that's what I'm calling to uh, see what you uh, see what you got. So you know, if you got you know if you got a few minutes, uh, I got a I got a few questions that that uh, that that I want to ask to see you know see if if this is a right fit for me. So Go ahead. Can you can you, can you uh, so I'm not sure that I even heard about this company. I came across this company on my on my Facebook post. You know, you guys, you know, a lot of a lot of trucking companies seem to <laughs> seem to advertise a lot through Facebook and I a lot of them I haven't even heard of, but I came across you guys. So can yeah. you can you give me a brief background of the company? Uh we're based out of uh Romulus, Michigan. Um we're a family-based company, and we have we have runs all over the place, really. But most of the time, we go north and south, uh, like Texas, or we go to Mississippi. We have dedicated over there. Mm -hmm. uh, south Carolina, we have dedicated. Uh, Chicago, we have a couple lanes on there dedicated. Um, uh, clean trucks, we keep up with our equipment. Uh, you know, 2019 20 trailers. Um, you know, and uh, it's not really much to it, you know, it's just, uh, uh, drivers come in, they, uh, come to an interview, uh, we speak to, uh, we speak more, you know, more in depth about the job, you know, like when you fill out job applications and stuff, but, uh, we've been open for four years now, uh, the great race part. Oh, um, okay, so four, so y'all been, y'all, y'all been in existence for four years? No, we've been in this industry our whole life. It's just this, this company, Great Lakes, has been open for four years. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the company, so the company, been yeah. in existence for four years, but you guys been in it for for quite a while. Um, so yeah, so com so coming up to orientation, how would you how would you bring me up there, and what might I have to bring? Uh, well, you're in Cleveland. That's pretty close um uh you would have to bring okay so if you want to move on forward and uh come in and do a job application we could i mean you could drive down here um uh that right there is not up to me it's up to um up to manager on what you want to do because uh, i mean i know people we fly them out from other states but i don't know if they're like you're so close i don't know um what the manager might want, you know, he wants you to drive up there or something. But um, we could get you a hotel and stuff, and uh, we go through the interview, we go through the training, stuff like that. And uh, if everything checks out with your background, with your uh, work history, um, drug test, and all that, you nice. know, if everything is good, we just have you hop in a truck, and a load will be ready in the yard. 
All right, so the paper, so the paperwork, the paperwork and everything will be done after I get the orientation and not before. Yeah, it will be uh, like the whole process is like about a couple of days, um, just because uh, we have to call and follow up on a lot of things that you know from your background. Okay. Um, okay. Two days the most, really. It's not. It shouldn't be that that long. All right. What about uh? What about pre-employment screening? What What do you guys do? Uh, urine or hair follicle or both? Uh, urine. Urine. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what's yeah. the starting What's the starting pay? Uh, what's the starting CPM for 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 a driver of my status? Starting. Okay. So, um, with the with the with the starting. We start off people from forty cents to fifty cents, depending on their experience. Um, but if you're telling me you have five years, you know, we you would hop in a truck and we would determine on the um, based on your experience on backing up and start, you know, all that. Um, and that I would say about forty five. Usually the, the guys that got a little more experience start forty five. You know, if they don't give us no trouble, no headache, no 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 accidents, no anything. Um, we start boosting it up, um, you know, we go up to, and then when you do keep on going, um, you get, you can get paid like team load or something. Like, even though you're a solo, like you can get paid team loads, um, um, just to have that extra, you know, extra cents per mile. Um, it depends on how you hustle though, you know, it's like, it's all about the attitude. If you want to really make money, you know, there's money to be made. Okay. Is there, is, there, and, um, is, is there is there a sign on bonus? No, no sign on bonus. Ten ninety nine. Oh, so you see an individual oh, contract. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is so you're a ten ninety nine co- uh, company. So will I be will, will yeah. I be ten ninety nine uh, company driver or will I be ten ninety nine leasing from you? No, no, uh, 1099 uh, company driver. Oh, okay, okay. So that means I would have to, I would have to take care of all of my, uh, my insurance, all my uh, taxes and stuff like. No, that. insurance, insurance, insurance is, insurance is, is on us. But like, it, you, you're already, like, everything is covered. But it's just like, uh, like the benefits and stuff like that. Like your, uh, you know. Uh, your dental and your um, other things that you know, like for te- for W twos, you know how they take uh, some money out of your check just to put it into your um, whatever it could be. Yeah, we don't have that here. But it's like basically getting paid cash, you know. So you do your part, you, you do hours, and you go home. That's about it. Oh, okay, okay. What uh, what else is paid to what? What else is <laughs> what? What else is paid to me? Like. <laughs> Like breakdown, detention, layovers. Do, uh, do I get that paid to me too? Well, uh, uh, deadhead, uh, you get paid for um, detention. Yeah, you get paid. You no, know, we, we try to. We, there's a lot of people who made money with us. Uh, mm-hmm. There's people who come make money with us, and you know they do their thing, and they one second there's a, a cap on the free order. Oh, okay. What what about what about the mile? Well, you say people you you say that the drivers make money with you. So what, what's that? What's the miles that 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 your drivers are averaging? Uh, well, we we give the we give the miles based on the what the driver can handle. We, we don't we don't we try to throw if the driver can't handle much, I you was know, like we want to we want to give him more than he can handle. Like, you know, we got. We have somebody, for example, that in our company that drive five hours a day, so we know how to handle these guys. You know? I've never met like really a truck driver that drive five hours a day, but you know, it's just you know everybody's different. So you know, okay. um, some people could drive fifteen hours a day, like it's no problem. You know, but we do have trucks, you know, without like e laws and stuff. Uh, and those are more for the people that are thinking for long. Um, but it's just a 99, and people really do make the money over here because, you know, you just do your job, you know, you go your miles, you get some home, no taxes are taken out, nothing, you know, you go home happy, you got money in your pocket, and uh, people are doing this every day. All you got right. people that go to Chicago and back, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got people going to Chicago and back, uh, 150 a trip, and I got people making 300 dollars a day. Oh, okay, okay. What a, Working you, on the like this. Well, you you just you just mentioned the next question I was about to ask. So, uh, wh- what about home time? So, if I'm if I'm rolling, if I do regional, if I do regional, would I be home every week to do a to do a uh, a a full two day a full two day off, or would I just be doing the thirty four? Yeah. Yeah. No, you uh, you'll be you'll have you'll have two days off on the weekend. Uh, unless, unless now on the weekends, unless like you have probably Friday or Saturday mm-hmm. and Saturday, and then like you would roll out uh, Sunday night, uh, because like we do have Chicago r- run, and um, <clears throat> yeah, we have Chicago that like no, they don't roll out Monday, they roll out Sunday, so that you get Monday rolling, okay. uh, it started. So, okay. so, so like mm-hmm. it's. It depends. It's Friday or Saturday, or or sometimes it's Saturday or Sunday, and then Monday you can roll out. Okay. So I mean, it depends. It depends on the schedule. Okay. Okay. What about the equipment? What what equipment do you have? Uh, right now we have uh, we're, we're bringing more trucks in as well. But we have uh, we have ball balls. We have 2016, 17, 18, uh, Kenworth T680. Um, we have T700. We have uh, Frightliner, Tornados, you know, uh, we we keep up with our trucks, and you know they're they're pretty good trucks. Okay, what what are, what amenities do you have in the trucks? Like uh, refrigerators, inverters. We have you got, you fridge, microwave. Yep, all that. I mean, we we usually give it to the drivers, you know, who actually like uh, put it to use. Because I mean, we we give it to some people who really didn't have no care for it, and it was just a waste. But like, if there's something like you prefer, you know, and uh, that's not a problem. You know, we always like to keep make we always like to make a driver happy. Okay, that's what's up. What about a driver cam? Is is that in your trust too? A what? Driver cam. Camera? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. No, that's your no. Um. Now let me. I want to. I'm. This is just a a side question, and it's. It, I'm. I'm not. I'm not a felony, but for drivers that. For drivers that has like felony backgrounds, do you give them a chance? Uh, it de- yeah, it depends on the situation. Like if uh, if like they have like a paperwork from their um, uh, what do they call it? From uh, if they have if they have some kind of document saying that they could work, and they have like a. Uh, like a, a lawyer or somebody that could uh, like back it up, or you know, other, other, like other, like I said, like the two days of us checking through your name and your background and your drug test and all that, it, it, that has to, it has part of it to do with uh, you know the the hiring process. Okay, okay, okay. All right, brother man. My last question deals with uh, driver safety, man. So you know, in the light of all the dangerous shit that's going on right now. Uh, you know, with the with the yeah. riots, the defunding of the police departments and shit like that. Uh, you know, a truck driver's job uh, now is considered the worst job to have. How do you how how do you and your company protect your drivers with loads going to like highway cities? And what's your policies on firearms for def- uh, for self defense? Um. Okay. So with you know, places that are hot areas. We did have a driver, and um, he wasn't in Kenosha, but he was outside of it at the time. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, and um, what happened that time? Um, I remember he got loaded up, and they told him, "Hey, once you get loaded, just like keep on rolling, don't stop." You know, and um, in situations like that, you know, a driver, of course, he would tell us, "Hey, you know, this is a really bad area. I'm like my lo- I even if your logs are going to get messed up, hey, this is going to happen, you know. But, like, as, as, as long as the uh, driver is, you know, he's communicating with somebody about what's going on, you know, we would always have his back on anything that happens. Um, you know, people are not, you know, that crazy to be doing things uh, to truck drivers. You know, they, they kind of did that in the beginning, but I think people know a little better because uh, the truck drivers are... 
<laughs> you okay? Uh, yeah. One second. <laughs> what was that? To me? It sounded like, uh, sound like a, cra- uh, a was- cat screeching in the background. <laughs> Oh, that was one. Oh, that was a truck. I was just saying what's up to one of the Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah, please. and um, say? yeah, you know, people don't really mess with drivers, and I mean, uh, our drivers, uh, some drivers, they do carry, and that's up to them. Um, as long as you know you have a CPL, but in some states they don't, they don't allow it. You know, it's just like it's, it's basically, you know, if it's, if you're in the truck, you know, it's. If it's your gun, it's gonna be you know it's gonna be your responsibility, you know. But everybody knows that you know if you're a truck driver, you're you're you're, you should be a responsible person, you know, not to show it like walk around like hey, right. look at me, I got a gun type of deal. No, you're like right. if, if it's in your truck, it's in your property. It's a it's a Michigan uh it's a Michigan truck, so you know. Oh, you're from Ohio. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know the rules in Ohio for mm-hmm. CPLs and stuff, yeah, but I got, yeah, I got um, carry license. I've seen drivers. I got yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't blame drivers. For yeah, I, I got my carry license. I, you know, but it's just that some trucking companies, you know, put it in their policies for us that we can't carry, you know, on yeah. uh, their trucks. And yeah, I was just, yeah. and I'm trying to see you well, know, what's your what's your guys' policy on it. Well, we don't really have a policy, you know. It's just because it's, it's, it's you against the world when you're behind the, you know, behind the driver's seat. Right. So, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you, you want to be, because we've had, you know, this instance that happened, you never know what could happen down the road. So, you know, that's like between you and, you know, if you got it, you got it, and just don't say anything about it, you know, and uh, it's just basically your luck, you know, just, you know, be safe. You know, it's, it's, a lot, right. it's a lot on the road nowadays. It's not it's like how it used to be. All right. Well, out of all out of all the companies that I had checked out so far, and you know, I checked out, I you know, I check out a lot of them. Um, sounds like Great Lakes. Uh, sounds like Great Lakes is is a pretty good company to to rock out with. Why? Why? What else? Or why else should I consider you guys over everybody else that I had talked to? Well, I can tell you one thing. It's uh, it's not something you can explain. It's just uh, it's, it's a type of experience, you know. If you got if you got to experience it for yourself, for you to find out. Uh, and like once you start seeing your paychecks, you know, you, you once you start seeing your paychecks, you're like, hey man, I'm kind of like I'm, I'm I'm digging work. I'm gonna go back to work. What's up? Like you know, my like my my brother is a dispatch, so mm-hmm. this, this guy he'll keep you rolling. If you wanna if you wanna roll, if you really wanna make some money, you know, you talk to a dispatch. I'm like, hey, look at me. Check me out. This is what I want. I want I want this, this, and that. I want to make this much. I want to make money before this date. When I come back, I want to be happy. You know? Okay. And that's a done deal. That's it. So, that's what's up. Um, that's what's up. Well, uh, well, that's all I have for you. You don't have to worry. That's, that's all I have for you. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm sure there's probably a few more that I probably uh, that I probably missed, but I don't want to take too much of your time. So thank you know thank you, and I will definitely take this information back with me. You know, I'll you know compare it to everybody else that I talk to. I will also I will also share it on my social media where I network with other truck drivers too, man. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate no, it. No doubt, no doubt. All What's right. your name again? My name's Shine, man. Sean, Sam. All right, now, well, you take it easy, brother. You stay safe out there. And uh, definitely, uh, uh, like I said, definitely stay safe out there, man. And I appreciate the time with you. All right, my man. Take it easy now. Hey, you too now. Bye-bye. Great Lakes Logistics and Transportation, everybody. Well... What do you guys think of that call right there, man? Great Lakes Logistics and Transportation. Uh, let's see what they're located out of, man. Um, I'm not. Sh- they're they're located out of Romulus, uh, Romulus, Michigan. Uh, so if you live up in the Northeast or live up in the area, you know, give them a give them a try, man. 
uh, conversation with the bro was 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 on point. I mean, you know, I think he answered the questions fair, uh, precise. And when I asked him about uh, about you know firearms and driver safety, I I think he was he was uh, truly honest with uh, with his statement. I mean, you know, a lot of us now is in trying times right now, and we're trying to figure out ways to protect ourselves with companies not letting us you know letting us carry our you know our firearms especially if we're you know if we're ccw compliant but then you also got to know about the other states that you drive through as well too so because sometimes they don't recognize um they don't recognize your your firearm as you know your ccw license you know what i'm saying but uh but uh, Great Lakes Logistics and Transportation, man, I, you know, I, I got a feel for them. You know what I'm saying? They're a good, they're a young company. Uh, they been in business for four years and they starting out with their, uh, you know, trying to get some uh, good drivers like yourself up in there. So, again, like I said, what do you guys think? If you guys uh, like it, leave your comments in the comments below and, um, if you want to give these guys, uh, if you want to give these guys a try, definitely give them a call. Their phone number is, their phone number is 734-922-8918. Again, that's 734-922-8918. And again, they're located in Romulus, Michigan. So that's it for this episode of MTC 2.0. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. Yo, support a brother for doing uh for doing this for you guys. You know what I'm saying? It tastes a lot and I don't mind doing it, but hook me up with some coffee, man. The, descri the coffee link is in the description below, along with the Cash App, which, you know, might be easy for some of you guys. I don't know. But if you if you like what I'm doing, you know, show your support. Dollar sign, blackout man. Show your support by liking. Show your support by subscribing. All that. Show your support by sharing it. Let somebody else that might be interested in Great Lakes Logistics and Transportation. All right? In the next episode of uh, MTC 2.0, we're going to be looking at Lily Trucking or Lily Transportation. So come back next week to, uh, to find out what Lily Transportation got for us. You know what I'm saying? Until next time, you guys stay blessed. And I hope to see you again. Y'all take it easy. I'm out. Peace.